Blumhouse has a new horror film called There's Something Wrong With The Children. Let's see if this new film is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Margaret and Ben take a weekend trip with two lifelong friends and their two young children. Ben soon suspects something sinister is afoot when the kids start behaving strangely after disappearing into the woods overnight. So this is the latest Blumhouse film for 2023. We had Sick on Peacock. Megan was released this year. They seem to be producing a lot of films so far in 2023. And There's Something Wrong With The Children is easily the weakest of the bunch. This is I would say a disappointing film because the premise behind it is pretty good. I think the films that are in this horror subgenre of children that are possessed and doing sinister things is pretty creepy. And there is two young children that discover this pit and they are immediately drawn to it you could tell that it is affecting them and they are possessed by it there's no build up for these children and realizing oh they are uh possessed it's like immediate like the second they see it they're immediately possessed they want to throw themselves into the pit they start growling at their parents weird things start to happen that the friends that are joining the parents and their children start to realize that uh, something is going something is off with these children problem with this film and being part of this subgenre for children that are possessed is that the children aren't creepy there are two children and they die they come back to life they are creepy they start growling at people they leave in the middle of their night they just the presence behind them is just not terrifying i mean the the acting is pretty good from everybody involved with the film even the adults and the young children but the way that the film presents the children and develops their story and them being sinister is just not creepy enough the film focuses a lot on the relationships within the film the couples it almost feels like it's like a therapy session going on we have the women pairing off and talk about relationships we have the men pairing off and talking about relationships many times we're having these long conversations that are focused on their relationships and how one of the couple doesn't want to have children and the other couple with the two young children are wanting to have some alone time and so it feels like it's just a chance for them to vent about their relationships and it's taking away from suspense for the young children and them being sinister and evil and wanting to kill people there's many times where you feel like you could trade in conversations with the parents four moments with the children so with an hour and 32 minute film i don't think it's using its time wisely to build up that suspense the premise is pretty good within the film and i like what certain things represented and it didn't give us the answers that we wanted for this film it kind of led you to having to piece things together so the story for it is pretty decent and i could see what they wanted to accomplish with this film but it feels truly underdeveloped with its characters and what it wanted to do it is pretty gory at times and blumhouse takes their kind of classic style of keeping it in one central location they are at their cabin for the weekend and part of it does take place in the woods and where they find this large pit but for the most place it does take place in one central location and at times you feel that atmosphere is chilling for where they are at with a very limited cast of just four adults and two children they managed to make it a bloody film with some pretty graphic kills despite solid performances this is a pretty boring film with a decent premise and a tone that could be really chilling and instead it focuses on the wrong things and takes away from the development of the children 
and that chilling atmosphere. So before I give you my score for There's Something Wrong With The Children, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. And if you like to see where There's Something Wrong With The Children ranks amongst all the other 2023 releases I've seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm going to go ahead and give There's Something Wrong With The Children a C. Thank you guys for checking my review for There's Something Wrong With The Children. Have you guys seen it by chance? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.